big time. I'm on my way. I'm making it big time. <laughs> and that's where we are right now as we talk with Key Cantor over at First Community Bank. And as you move from a smaller independent mortgage banker, maybe just doing a few loans a month as a broker and then moving up to correspondent and then moving up to a banker, what would it take for you to break the top 100? Today's episode was another special episode for me. As somebody who has grown up in the industry, Keith Cantor is somebody that I've met in person, but also been able to follow from afar because of the many collaboratives and co-ops that he's part of. As he is able to showcase First Community Mortgage, and more importantly, First Community Mortgage Cares, and the message it has given to the rest of the industry, and really a beacon to follow for many mortgage companies that are trying to grow. In fact, where he is today and where I'm betting on him going, this is one that many people should follow. And today we had that opportunity to figure out, hey, the platform for doing this, not only in times of grief, like we saw in 2007, and also the growth period of the last decade. And as we move toward the debacle that we have in interest rates over the course of the last two years, we got to see there was one aspect that was consistent throughout the history of this company. It's gratitude. On Pat McAfee show, they recently had Coach Saban, and he gave a speech about being undefeated to Texas, and it was called his nothing speech. And so I think the same speech could be applied to loan officers today. And a little bit of the show reminds me of it. So if you wake up in the morning and you've been a top originator, what does that entitle you to? Nothing. If you become undisciplined in what you do, what is that going to get you? Nothing. If you think that everything you did in the past is going to keep working and getting you forward, so you're just going to coast, where is that going to get you? Or what is that going to get you? Nothing. So then he says, nothing could be more important than staying disciplined to who you are and staying disciplined to the resume you need to get you where you want to go. And that's what I see in First Community Mortgage. They give the infrastructure in a lean way, but in a very deep and personal way for loan officers to succeed. It's been an incredible journey here at First Community Mortgage. Uh, I'm humbled and honored to participate in the podcast. And, you know, as I think back about being grateful, you know, really it comes down to the values of the organization. And it's really not about values on a wall. It's how those values manifest themselves out in the organization. And we really like to take time to recognize and to reward our team members who consistently live out the values. But that's not enough. I think what's important for leadership to do across the country is to mine for the absence of value. That's where the real work is, and that's where the rewards will take place. When we can come together as a transparent and healthy organization, where we can come together with healthy conflict, uh, we can make a real difference in our organization and also in the communities we serve. And if you have the willingness to be able to not only give back to your people and give back to your industry and then give back to the community, this is the episode that you definitely want to watch so that you can have the right growth pattern with the vertical growth and the horizontal growth at the same time, knowing what the company culture will be like, not only for you and also for the remainder of your company, thus growing into the community.